Never worry about passing another nursing school exam ever again. Head over to simplenursing.com forward slash YouTube to join for free. Now for antifungals, think antifungus, mainly used to treat candida fungal infections. So first up, end in nasal, like fluconazole or ketoconazole. Given to treat nail and skin candida fungal infections. So guys, we think nasal, think N for nail fungus. Now, it's taken for two to six weeks, and it's very liver toxic, like most antifungals. So the key point here is that it does not treat C. diff infections. Remember, nasal treats nail fungus, and dazzle treats the gut for C. diff bacteria. Now, guys, don't get tricked with these sound-alike names. Nasal is not a dazzle. So metronidazole, like flagell, treats C. diff. Remember, there's nothing dazzling about C. diff. Now, amphotericin B is for serious fungus and causes serious terror on the body with lots of side effects. So, both HESI and ATI had questions concerning the adverse effects. And guys, renal injury is the biggest one, so write down these key points. A creatinine over 1.3 means bad kidney. And urine 30 ml per hour or less means the kidneys are in distress. And oliguria, low urine, just another name for it. Now, nystatin is given to treat candida infections of the mouth, the GI, skin, and even vagina. Now, it's not to be confused with lovastatin, the cholesterol drug. Guys, this is nystatin. Now, the HESI asked about these key points. So, guys, write these down. It treats oral candidiasis, or basically candida. Always shake well since it's a liquid suspension. And since this med precipitates at the bottom and usually causes unequal distribution. Next thing is inspect mucous membranes. Thanks for watching today's video. Remember to type simplenursing.com forward slash YouTube into your search bar and join well over 1 million students hacking their nursing school system.